Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you are having a fantastic day so far. Today we are reacting to the most terrifying sounds of the Vietnam War. YouTube's algorithm is freaking spot on. This came up literally now. I was logging on and I saw this and I was like, I've got to do this one because I'm big into my history and I, I love reading uh, about World War One and World War Two, especially. Um, and what I forget sometimes is the sounds that are going on. I like reading letters like troops have sent home and stuff, and they never really mention it. But when you look back in history and like World War One, amount the amount of soldiers who had uh, shell shock from the constant bombardment and that constant noise just that just wrecked their nervous system. It 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 had to have been completely terrifying. Now the Vietnam War was primarily in the jungle wasn't it so that some of the sounds that we're about to hear i'm assuming are going to be pretty creepy so i'm pretty keen to see this in a morbid kind of way um but yeah I'm, I'm pretty keen if you haven't done so already please make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you're feeling extra frisky you may as well hit the like button as well i do have a buy me a coffee page down in the description if anyone wants to buy a coffee to help support the channel but please don't feel like there's any obligation to do so and without further ado let's get into the most terrifying sounds of the vietnam war Oh, B-52. That's really hard pitched, isn't it? I'm imagining if you're hearing that, it's already too late, isn't it? That sound is that whistling. I don't know if it's really high pitched too. If you if you're listening on headphones, it probably is. It's it's quite high pitched. That. It's like a scream. Whew. The wandering soul recordings. The recordings ex exploited uh, the Vietnamese belief in the spirits and the afterlife by playing conversation between a ghost of a man and his living daughter. Now, I, like I've said before, I'm not sure I believe in ghosts, but can you imagine being in the pitch black jungle fighting a freaking war hearing that? I would crap my dax. Listen to it. Where the father's tormented soul cries for his family and warns his fellow men to go home, go home, friends. I'd be listening to that spirit and I'd be out of there. It started again. Oh, you can hear him. Oh, that is some mind warfare, mental warfare, isn't it? Flipping heck, they're definitely exploiting their beliefs and just being like freaking them the hell out. Holy crap. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. That would scare the laugh out of me. Spooky gunship. Operated mainly at night and was armed with... Oh my god! Jesus! Look at it, it's red! You, are, you can't run anywhere. At night, if you hear that, running through the forest ain't gonna help you. Holy... Oh, it's giving me chills. American jet-powered fighter aircraft. These are the ones that uh, drop the napalm. Sound awesome, eh? 
this. Use operating arc. US deploy, deployed B 52 bombers to provide close air support to the ground combat operations in Vietnam. Excuse me, Re releasing their bombs from the stratosphere, the B 52s could neither be seen or heard from the ground. So, what's it got to do with sound? Oh crap, look at the size of them. Holy crap. Even if it doesn't blow up, it... Flipping heck. Look at that destruction. Oh my god, look at that. AK-47, M-16, Firefly. Yeah, this, see? Listen, this is what would freak me out more. It's all quiet, all quiet. You're all just walking there with your mates. You, you're on patrol, and then all of a sudden, you're just seeing the beautiful crickets and the birds, and... There you go. Flipping heck. That, that Sometimes you don't even think about the sounds and that. And also like there, that quiet, that pure quiet. And then you, next minute you're shooting at bloody shadows because you're in a thick jungle. You can't see what the hell's going on. Flipping heck. Flipping heck. I hate war. Like, I'll, I'll be the first to say, it. yeah, the machinery and everything. It's awesome. Some of the stuff that men and women have built over the years and designed and the destruction it can impose, but it's not great, is it? Like, the, the effect it has on the people on the ground fighting and in, in the area, I mean, just the civilians living in the area is freaking horrible. And you know what? No one, I don't, I've never heard anyone mention this before. You know what they, when they were bombing those forests or the jungle, what I was thinking of? Imagine all the poor bloody animals just going about your day, snakes slithering around, frogs and whatever else. All these creatures just getting obliterated. They don't know what the heck's going on. Ah, oh, I feel bad for the animals of war. World War I, the amount of horses as well. Like, those poor freaking horses, man. Anyway, a bit random, I know. So this video popped up. It, it's definitely something to think about. I think a lot of the time we think of the action, the, visi the visible sign, uh, like side effects of war, but not the sounds. The sounds must haunt you for life more than anything, really. I suppose the visions will haunt you for life as well, but I'd imagine a lot of the guys who have fought in these wars go to bed at night and they still hear what's going on there. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.